Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. Today we are going to work on Roxy's weekly challenge, week four. Um, we're going to um, attempt to make hinged pockets. And so for this, I have a couple digitals here, some scrapbook paper here. Um, let's see what else do we have. A sheet of music paper, some just some book pages. Um, a painty paper here, and this is another digital here. So we're just gonna attempt to make them, make a couple out of these. And so, without measuring or anything, now the idea of this is to have a hinge in your journal, so you have a pocket that's hinged. All right, so let's see if I can remember how we do this now. Um, I want, I have to think. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to fold, this is going to be our hinge on this one here, so, but yeah, I'm going to fold a little lip over, because this is just um, a digital on, like, copy paper, so it's not very sturdy, so I'm going to take that side, and I'm going to use my glue gun, and this is just going to reinforce the little side tuck on the hinge side, you'll see here in a second. So I'm gonna glue that. And then, we're gonna fold this in, and this is gonna be the side that's around the page as the hinge, like I said. So, if you have directional paper, you're gonna wanna pay attention to which way you're folding. And now this one, I'm going to fold a little a little bit over here and this is just going to leave the pocket when we glue it down so it's not as tight. So I'm not going to glue under this side, I'll glue on the top when I close it. I'm going to fold this into almost that crease there. It's going to be a tall, narrow one. I'm trying to line it up in there. And then fold that. Okay, this one is a little bit off here, so. I might not have cut straight, so <laughs> that works. i um, just gonna fold this a little bit bigger on the top so it doesn't catch in there. All right, so now, so you get the idea here. I'll just grab a random page. Now this is as tall as the page. We can cut it down or we can leave it. You know, it's almost as tall. But what this would do is this would hinge on the back of this. This will be closed shut. And so it'll go on the page like this. And we'll put our little notches in the top. Um, let's go ahead and do that right now so we don't forget where our top is here. For our pockets. And then also on this side I want to do that. Because this is going to be a little side tuck. So, again, just grab our little page here, stick that on there, and that's going to be right in there, and close, you can put a big tag in there for journaling, and it flips open, you can decorate or put a pocket on the back, decorate or put a pocket on the front, and then on this side, we'll glue here, here, and here, and have a tuck. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue, glue this down. So I need to glue here and here, up on this side. Okay, I think Rachel said on these ones, I should have done this before I put glue on there, but trim these up, you know, so you don't see them. A little, like a flap. It's almost like a pocket expander or something. But you don't want to see these when you glue them down, so just snip those little corners off. Okay, and then, then we'll glue it. So we're going to put glue all the way to this little corner here. And then on our little flap, my glue acts like it's frozen here. I need to clean that out. Okay. All right, so then we're just gonna fold that in and we're gonna glue that. So again, on your page, and you can make them on either side, you know, whatever you want. You have that and it would flip open 
and you can put a pocket in here. You can put washi tape in here as well to cover that up if you want. And there. So there we have one, and you can do them without these little side tucks. Let's do one without. Um, I'm going to set these aside and we'll make a pile over here. All right, so we have, let's see, and this is our scrapbook paper. I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. This is just a really old, thin scrapbook paper pack that I have that I'm just trying to use up. Um, so let's see. Um, this one let's make on the other side so it hinges on this side of a page. But we're not going to put a big hinge in it. We're just going to, if I could pick it up here, we are just going to fold that over. And that's going to be our hinge. That's not straight. You could use your scoreboard. Maybe that's what I should have done because I cannot fold straight. We're going to call that a hinge. Okay. And then we can go as wide as we want on this as long as it's going to be within our journal. So, so I'm going to go ahead and fold a little bit of this in. It's a little bit long. So we'll just use that as a little, um, you know, inside that pocket again. Fold it in. So we'll cut these corners off now before we glue this time. And then you're just going to bring it in almost to that fold. And I'm crooked here, so let's get that on there. Fold that down. Now I can try to straighten this fold. I'm just going to leave it. If it bothers me, I can always put washi tape over it when I use it. I'm going to pop our little thumb top out of there. We're going to glue this one. I don't, I don't want to use that glue. Okay, I'm going to use my wet glue. So again, the bottom here. A line of glue. And then this little flap, which we made a little bigger this time, but it's okay. I put a little bit much glue on there, so it's probably going to make a mess, but... Okay, so then that's our pocket in the top here, and that will go be hinged on, let's see, get glue everywhere, hinged on one of our pages. You can just glue that right on there and it'll fold over, decorate both sides, put something on the inside, and that'll get glued down on our page and then you can put washi tape on there or something. So there we have another one and that was out of the scrapbook paper. So let's try... This one is just out of a book page and I, I know I won't use this page for anything, so trying to see if we want this on the outside or on the inside I got that on the outside okay so I'm gonna just make our little hinge here okay and then simply fold this and you don't always have to leave yourself that little extra fold um, over here you can just glue it that way so let's pop our top out of here We're going to go ahead and glue just, oops, a mess here. Just down the side and across the bottom here. So if you guys haven't had a chance to check out her video, check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. She gets a lot done. She sets a timer and challenges herself. I'm not setting a timer. I'm just trying a couple different book pages and stuff here and these are this is the shiny um the shiny books which I don't always like to use them but for pockets and stuff that doesn't really bother me so it's a for me it's a good way to use them as pockets all right so now this one again same thing you go ahead and stick that on your page and you can see how crooked that is folded <laughs> maybe this line is cut crooked 
on my book page. Okay, so there, yeah, that's better. Okay, then you have that. That'll be glued onto your page. Flip open, pocket on top, decorate both sides, and you have a pocket, a hinged pocket. All right, so what else do we have here? Let's try the painty paper, should we? Okay, this is just one of my off of my off thing. I'm gonna fold the top down on this because it is just copy paper. I'm gonna go ahead and I am gonna glue that down because that's gonna be the top of her pocket and then I'm just gonna make that, try to make that stronger. Oops, see yeah, it's really thin paper here. Okay, so now that's the top. I'm gonna have to, let's see, I wanna, t I think I wanna make a tall skinnier one this time. And I'm gonna have to reinforce this, it's a little bit flimsy. So I think what I'm gonna try is to do a double layered like hinge here. What I mean by that is I'm just gonna fold it over on itself once and then back again. I don't even know if this is gonna work, but I'm thinking it'll strengthen it and make my pocket smaller, you know. Okay, so our hinge is actually, let's use my bone folder here to get a really good crease on them. So that's actually gonna be our hinge and that's definitely gonna be strong enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that right now. And then we won't have to worry about that tearing. You know, when you're opening and closing it in a journal, it'll be it'll definitely be strong enough. Okay, let's see. How do I? Yeah, stick that all down. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm trying to catch up on things at home and stuff because Josh and I just got back from, we went to Las Vegas for well, five night, five days and four nights and we had a blast. It was a lot of fun. He's never flown before. He's never been to Vegas before. So it was definitely, definitely a fun time. Okay, now I'm folding this one into the crease there. Okay, and yeah, it's... A little bit off here. You know what though, I want the top to be straight. So I think what I'm gonna do here in this situation, this is all straight on the top and my bottom is not. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead, go ahead and make it straight. There, now it's straight. Fixed it, okay. So, all right, I got I'm gonna put a little bit of the wet glue under this flap here. I don't want that to catch anything. So yeah, have you guys been to Las Vegas? And what is your guys' favorite thing to do out there? We went to a comedy show, it was an, a hypnotist. That was so funny, Josh got hypnotized. And if you guys get a chance to go to a his hypnotist show, I highly recommend it. It was a blast. I was laughing so hard, I was like crying. He doesn't remember any of it. He doesn't remember, he thought he was on stage for like 10 minutes and it was like an hour and a half. Um, but we did We did go ahead and purchase the, you know, the video, the recording of it. So he watched that and it was hilarious. Okay, so now I have to glue across the bottom here and up the top. And then we did the high roller, the big Ferris wheel out there. You're 550 feet up at the top. Um, I think it took like a half hour to go around. And we went right at right at sunset. So we got to watch the lights turn on in Vegas. That was really cool. And then when we were up there too, we also got to see um, the Bellagio fountain show. We saw it earlier um, during the day, but then we got to see that night up there. That was really, really fun. We saw the volcano show. Um, yeah, we stayed downtown, so we did the Fremont experience and all that. I just want to make sure I didn't glue my pocket shut here. So there, I really, really like that one. Um, let's see here. So this is going to hinge on a page like that. You can put it on the bottom, too. 
and then it'll flip open. And now that that is definitely strong enough, you know what I mean? We could decorate the inside, outside. Could even go ahead and add some coffee dyed paper on there for journaling room if you wanted to. But yeah, it feels nice and solid now. So let's see, let's do, let's do another book page. That was kind of fun. Again, I think I'm gonna fold that top. Or should we try something really crazy here? I mean, I don't know, really crazy, but. Trying to think this through. Okay, when I fold, if I want pockets on both sides. I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna give it a try. This one's gonna be shorter. Okay, so I want this on the outside. Can you see where I'm going? So we need to make our hinge here, and I'm going to um, probably cut, well, maybe not. Let's make our hinge a little deeper. Here we go, okay. So that's gonna be our hinge. So before I forget, I'm just gonna pop out this little, I'm gonna put it up a little higher here because we're, we're gonna use this little pocket here. So I'm gonna open this back up and put a little tiny one here. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to get into it later. Okay, so when that is around a page here, it's glued down, you'll have a tuck spot here and a little mini pocket. You can put a little taller tag in there. So that, that works. Okay, let's see now. Um, we gotta fold this in here. Okay, I'm almost into that crease. Yeah, it was our anniversary, so we decided we're gonna just go. Like I said, he's never flown. He's never been to Las Vegas, anything, and that was that was pretty interesting. He was a little bit nervous, but after the first one, he was just fine. Um, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to get my little punches in here. Okay. So, let me fold this up. Yeah, now we're gonna glue here and here. We went on the Fremont Street. Um, there was a guy there, like there's these people like um, making things and doing things and then you can tip them or you know, buy things from them and stuff. And there was this gentleman there that was drawing um, picture, he would draw your picture. And so we went over there and we were standing there and we had him draw the both of us in a picture. Now I should have brought it in here so you guys could see it. Um, now you don't know what really what we Josh and I look like, but I'll tell you what, for, we stood there for 15 minutes and you, anybody that knows us can look at it and know that's us. I mean, it was amazing. The talent in some of those people is just crazy. It's like, what are you doing down here panhandling? You know, you have talent. Okay. Oh no, I forgot to glue this side. Okay, well we can do that really quick. Should have done that first, but get this little pocket glued. Glue on here. Okay, see now that's slid over, so you can kind of, you know, it's the the shiny book page, but this would work with scrapbook paper or anything else. But this one's kind of cool. I think this is my favorite one so far. So when you hang that on a page, okay, this is gonna be like we'll say your front. Okay, you have. Let's see, what do I have? I don't know if I have anything here. Got this. So you have a pocket here. You have the pocket you know, in the top here for a big one, a big journal card or something. And then you flip it over, you have the pocket back here. And then on this side where it's hinged, you have this tuck spot here and a little mini pocket here. So that's fun. Yeah, that was definitely fun. I think that's my favorite one. And it's definitely sturdy enough, you know, and if I was worried about it, I would just reinforce my um, folds here with washi tape or something, but that's really cool. That one's gonna be fun in a fall journal. 
So should we go ahead and um, well, let's let's do one more here. I think I want a tall, a taller one. Um, I'm going to leave this as the inside. I think I'm just gonna leave the jagged on the bottom. Um, let's see. Fold that. I gotta line it up on this side because obviously the tour side is not gonna be. Um, okay, I should have folded that over. Let's see. Let's fold this end in to give that um, little tuck spot because it's gonna be a tall one, a little more strength. And then we'll fold this in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue. that down. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So then this one, let's put that little extra so we can fit more things in there. That little extra fold. And then now remember, just cut the corners here. All right, now fold that into the inside, almost to the fold there. I'm lining it up on the top because the bottom's ripped. It's not gonna be straight. But I kind of like that jagged edge down there. Now I'm hoping it's not too tall for in the A. My normal size journals, I guess, is gonna be too tall here. So what I'm gonna do here is just cut the top off. It's fun to fold up and make another pocket one. But we're just going to go ahead and trim that off. And now I need to pop my little holes up here. I'm actually not going to do that until I have this one glued. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue it. Oh, I forgot. What did I do? I thought I cut two. Oh, yeah, I cut it off. To <laughs> recut that. Let me add our glue on here. Don't you don't want to get enough on there to where it um, you accidentally glue your pocket shut? You know the glue. So. Okay. So this side's gonna be a little tuck spot. And then, yeah, I guess the top. And that is really crooked on the top as well. I didn't glue it very good. Let's go ahead and trim that off because that will bug me. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but the top, it, it just looks sloppy, I think. So we'll just trim it, make it straight. And then you'll never know. Yeah, fixed it. Now we'll go ahead and That's not in the center, but I can look at that. Okay, so then we have a page here. You can have a little tuck spot here. And you have your hinged pocket. All right, let's go ahead and decorate one. Let's see. And see, I'm just going to make them up like this and save them because then when I want to pull them out of my ephemera, you know, I went and glued this one shut. Or no, that one's not hinged. Okay. Then when I put it in the journal, I'll know what I want to decorate it with. You know what I mean? Because it might be birds. It might be leaves. You never know. So we got that one. This one is cool, I think. It's a tall, skinny one. This one as well. Cool. And then another book page one, and then this one is out of scrapbook paper, and then we have our music paper. So let's go ahead and decide. 
Let's 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 decorate this one up, okay? You guys are gonna see in my ephemera stash over there. Alright, so now I am going to go ahead and just ink really quickly. But yeah, to have a bunch of those, um, you know, pre-made and a little thing when you're making a journal, you could just grab a base out. You know, I think it's, I think it's a good idea. And then it's, you know, you're, you're not overwhelmed with having to make all this ephemera for a journal. And when you can just go ahead and go in your little pre-made ephemera bases and grab it out, decorate them, and it goes really quick then. So that's what I'm doing with the Roxy um, challenge is building up my ephemera, my, my pre-made but not decorated ephemera. So yeah, like the bases, I guess, is the best way to serve it now. Now in here, this white might, I don't know, that's going to be glued down, but this, you can see a little bit of this in here, so you could put washi tape in there, but I think what I'm going to do is just use my makeup brush here and go ahead and ink that up because then it's not white white it won't it won't bother me then if it's if it's stark white it might okay so yeah this is going to be glued down but once you have that glued down on your page like so here you're not going to see that but then right in here you will see that see now it doesn't bother me just go ahead and add some of that on there okay all right, so what do we want to do on here? Um, so first, this we're gonna call this the front. Let's go ahead and see. I kind of get lost on there. Kind of like that butterfly on there. Maybe let's grab some pretty nice scraps here. Maybe we'll just do, yeah, let's just do some Dictionary. Okay. I'm not going to ink that. I'm just going to leave that, but I'm going to go ahead, grab my glue stick. Okay, I feel like I need a label or something. I think I have, let's see here, labels. Yeah, right in here. Okay, what about a stamp? I got these stamps from Lori at Enchanted Dream 71. So they're fun to use. Let's see, we have like the kind of goldish yellow color in there, so maybe we can find one to kind of bring that in. I'm not sure. I think there's like a brown kind of one here. Let's see. Yeah, I like that one on there. Okay. I know this is on sticker. Oh, this one will be easy because it's on that sticker paper backing. And a lot of times I will still glue these, you know, add the glue on the back one, but this one is really sticky and this is going to go in my book anyway, so oh, I should have inked that edge a little bit anyways. After I touch it all over, it's not going to be very sticky, so maybe we better add a little bit of glue on there. stamp on there. Let's 
be simple. I think it's cute. Okay, let's just add our butterfly. Oh no, I wrecked his little body. Well, it's just gonna come off. <laughs> So there's that, and then, let's see what's going to be on this page. We could put something on here. Maybe should we just add a little bit? Where is that strip I ripped off of? I thought I did. Yeah. We're just going to go ahead and add some of that on there. I'm not going to decorate it too bulky on the back. Um, here, because by the time we get something inside there, you know, I don't want it to get too bulky, but just to break up that, okay, let's see, oops, well, that's where it's stuck, kind of slid over on me, but that's where it's going to be. I'll pull that little corner off there. There we go. Okay, and then Rachel, um, on this long part, you put a label or anything on there, but I um, see what she she used washi tape, and I thought that looked kind of cool. So I brought my washi tape over here. Let's see if we can find something in the colors like Like a, a like book page would honestly work, but we have that over there. Um, let's see. What about like this has the kind of colors? It's got the blues and the golds. Let's try that one. I can find the end here. Same thing again, I would normally run this over my glue, but I'm just gonna stick that right on there. Peel that right off. You can't really see that one that much. I guess it, I figured it would show a little better, but you can, I mean, it's fine. So now let's grab our book. This is our idea journal. So we're gonna put this in here. So we have week one, two, three. Let's see, one, two, and there's three, okay. So this would actually be a good page to put on here because we have pockets, you know, and stuff. So let's go ahead and stick that on there. Now I do need to make a tag for in there, but I'm not gonna make that on video. Um, we all know how to make tags, so. And you know, start to tuck in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue here, here, and here on the three sides with my wet glue. I'm gonna wipe that off. So there, just a little bit on the bottom here. Okay. Now I wanna line this up on the bottom and right in that little crease. Yeah, and then just make sure that's glued on there. Okay, so then here's the, and we have a tuck spot in here. And you could even, it would be fun to even take like something like that and glue, not this, it's obviously this last, but another piece of ephemera and you can leave this end not glued and tuck stuff in there. Then you have the big pocket up on top and you have this on the back that you could decorate up more and everything else too. I actually kind of like that on there, but it gets lost. So, so there you go. There is our, um, our Roxy's Weekly Challenge, week four. That was a lot of fun. This has been fun. And I'm starting to, you know, build up my pockets and stuff. So that's always good. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And we will see you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.